According to an article titled Hudson George Vernon by George Gibbs, published in 1996 to the Encyclopedia of New Zealand, this is a New Zealand entomologist named George Vernon Hudson. He enjoyed catching insects and drawing them, so he valued his daylight, which led to him to an Eight, October of 1895, proposing what is modernly known as daylight savings times, but it was not a, it was not implemented until 1916 by the Germans in this World War One in order to keep the war machine cheaper by reducing the amount of artificial lighting was need that was needed. This was according to a book known Seize the Daylight by David Priu in two, published in 2005. But does daylight saving times actually make the cost of electricity go down? or how much electricity is needed per household to decrease as it was first intended to be implemented. Well, I, would, I am here to tell you that no, it doesn't. And because of this, I believe that the United States of America and other countries should get rid of day daylight savings time. And I believe this for three reasons. First, countries should get rid of daylight savings time because it has little to negative benefit. Countries should get rid of daylight saving times because it is a detriment to a farmer's work and countries should get rid of daylight saving times because it is, a de it is a detriment to the average person's life. So firstly, daylight savings time does not actually accomplish what it is meant to do. According to an article, a paper titled, Does Daylight Savings Time Save Energy? Evidence from a natural, natural Experiment in Indiana, published in 2008 to the National Bureau of Economic Research by Matthew Car Crotchin and Lauren Grant. In Indiana, the electric cost for households increased by $9 million during daylight savings time. This was about a 1% increase. So basically, every household had an increase of 1% to their electric bill due to daylight savings times. And in the, article, in the paper, they estimated that other areas of the United States would actually have a higher increase. But these numbers have been disputed. But the only thing that is agreed on by many experts is that the changes of daylight saving times are small, either a 1% increase or 1% detriment of, electrics, of electric bill. So daylight saving times doesn't actually accomplish what it, needs to, what it was intended to do. But is there any other negative effects? Well, actually, daylight saving times has a negative effect on many people's lives. Firstly, farmers. According to the same paper by Cochin and uh, Grant, Farmers are actually against daylight savings times. They're against it for two reasons. Firstly, that they either have to work an hour more in the dark daylight, in the dark day, to, in order to sync up with markets, or, according to an article entitled Fast Time Causes Tense Time at the Capitol by Grant Moose, published in Session Weekly by in 1991, quote, they, being farmers, cannot get into the fields any earlier than under standard time, because the morning sun does not dry the dew on daylight savings time. So basically, farmers have to sacrifice being synced up with an urban society, synced up with the markets, or they have to sacrifice being synced up with the natural world, where their job actually resides. But it is not only farmers that are affected by daylight savings time. The average person is also affected by daylight savings time, and they are affected in two ways. Daylight saving times creates more costs and confusion and negatively impacts human health. Firstly, let's look at cost and confusion. As you can see in the bottom left, there is a map of the time zones of the world. And daylight savings time adds a whole other mess of confusion because not all these countries switch daylight saving times at the same time. So if you're going to schedule a meeting between New York and London, you'd have to keep track of this very confusing mess of time. And also, uh, According to Rescue Time, which is an app that that uh, people use, people and businesses use to track different times, the daylight savings time era, the Monday after daylight savings time, workers actually have a detriment of four hundred eighty million dollars. That's four hundred eighty million dollars worth of production that could be used in these businesses. That's four hundred eighty million dollars that could be in these workers' pockets. That is not there because of daylight savings. But it's not only cost of confusion, but it also has a detriment to human health. According to the American Heart, Heart Association, in an article uh, titled, Can Daylight Saving Times Hurt the Heart, published in 2008, the Monday, after, the Monday after Daylight Savings Time 
had a stroke increase of 8%. And in an article titled Daylight Savings Time in the My My Myocardial Infer Infarction, published in 2014 by Anit Sandhu, Milan Seth, and Hitan Gurm, who are all cardiovascular experts, their research shows that the Monday after Daylight Savings Time, there's actually the heart attacks increased by 24%. So basically, messing with the sleep cycle that daylight saving time does actually has a negative effect on the human heart. So the United States of America and other countries should get rid of daylight savings time because it firstly doesn't do what it was intended to do. It has a negative impact on farmers work and it has a negative impact on human health. But what can you do? As United States citizens, you have the right to free speech which means you can negatively talk about daylight savings time to your representative. So I urge you to talk to your representative about getting rid of daylight savings time. And I want to leave you with this story. According, uh, according to an article uh, titled Daylight Savings Time, published by the Republic of La the Lakota in 2009, quote, when told the reason for daylight savings time, the old Indian said only a white man would believe that he you could cut a foot off the top of a blanket and sew it to the bottom of a blanket and have a longer blanket. Thank you.